Good morning and welcome to the channel. It is a bright and beautiful Saturday morning and it's almost spring. Daylight saving time is a few days away. And as you can see, my garden is coming together, but it's not quite where it needs to be yet. It's really hard to get things done after you've worked a full day away from the house. You only have a few hours after coming home from work. So this is what the garden looks like right now. Last night, I sat right here and excuse my shadow. I sat, <clears throat> excuse me, I sat right here and I worked on, here we are. I worked on fertilizing my containers. So in today's video, I'm gonna take you along and show you me fertilizing and creating some new containers. And if you'd like to see that, stay tuned. If you can see here, I have some red mustards coming up in this pot. So I'm not really going to do a whole lot with this. The exposed soil right here, I am going to dig that out and put some new fresh soil there. And then fertilize, <clears throat> excuse me, my voice is not ready today. And then fertilize around the greens, but I'm not going to be taking out all of this soil. This soil has been in here for many years. Um, some of it is slightly compacted, I do believe. So I'm gonna be refreshing that pot. I've already gone and put in my Texas Star Hibiscus that woke up into a much larger new container. I have two of them. So that pot has Same been refreshed. Thing with this container right here, this is also Texas Star Hibiscus. It's a little bit larger than the other one. <clears throat> Excuse me again, my voice is just not ready for the day yet. I'm not quite sure what this is yet, but I'm letting it uh, come and tell me what it is. I think it might be, <clears throat> excuse me, Roselle. I do apologize, you guys. It's early morning. The sun has just come up. It's nice and beautiful. The sun, are, the sun is up, the birds are chirping, and so my voice is just not ready. I think I should have a cup of coffee. So I think that might be Roselle. If not, it's a flower. Either way, I'm leaving it because I want to see what it is. I'm also going to underplant the other T Texas Star Hibiscus. I'm just not quite sure what I'm going to underplant right next to it. These are greens. I'm not quite greens and onions and kale. I'm not quite sure what kind of greens these are because I put like four different varieties of things in this container as well as the other container over there. But these I need to harvest and get in the pot and they need to be eaten. So today these will be harvested. I also have some onions back in there spring onions or um, bunching onions and I've got some beautiful kale I've got two different plants in here of mustard that, that little one there and that big one there and then I've got some kale over here so this is gonna be fertilized well fertilized after I harvest it so that's what I'm working with this morning I've already up potted excuse my shadow everybody I've already up potted all of my trees in the orchard area over there as you can see the orchard over there those are my two figs that pot in the corner is a pecan I'm going to be planting some moringa seeds in there today that lemon is still not showing me that it's alive so I think I may have to replace my lemon a third time but third time's a charm right and then my other plants or my other trees over here are doing well as a matter of fact let me show you how well they're planted everything with garlic you can see the garlic is coming up that's my little gnomeo right there have a little garlic right there but let me show you why i can Can you all see that this is my fort sam peach and this baby right here has peaches now it did have eight i do not see all of them I believe it might have dropped some of its peaches because I did up pot it. I, I probably shouldn't have, but it needed to have a, a, a greater growing space. So I did snatch it out. I did not dig it out. I just pulled it straight out the pot and I found it has some beautiful peaches. So I fertilized it, put it in a bigger pot. So we'll see how this baby does. Before I do what I came on here to do today, I just wanna show you the orchard one more time. The orchard's not finished. I am going to be moving my containers yet again, trying to space them out appropriately, or at least as, as, as appropriately as I think they need to be placed out. And so they are going to be 
espalier or espalier. I can't, I have to see how I say that word. But I'm gonna splay them out. I'm gonna put up a structure over here so that they're not growing tall, so that I can't reach the fruit. I want them to grow out sideways, if that makes sense. And I'll put some information in the description box below so that you know what that is and what it looks like. I'll put a picture in here. Hope you can see it. And that's what I want this orchard to look like. I want these trees to all be espaliered and that way I could access the fruit on them and they're not growing so tall that they're leaning over into my neighbor's yard or the birds or whatever get them from the top and I can't access the fruit. So that's gonna be happening hopefully pretty soon. As you can see, the last two trees, which is a nectarine and a methylene plum are relatively tall and the Bruce Plum, which is here, is not that tall. And the Fort Sam Peach is not that tall. So they have a ways to go and grow. But I really need to get that structure up. That way, these two trees on the end um, are not too tall. And I can't actually get them splayed out the way they need to be splayed out. So let's get into this video and let's start fertilizing these containers. These are new containers that I've had for several years. They were sitting in the shed in North Texas and now I get a chance to actually use them. Before I start out, I need to drill a hole. Now I no longer drill holes in the base of my containers anymore. I give all of my pots a bit of a reservoir, about an inch or so. And so I'm gonna drill a hole about an inch up from the base and that way this container has a water reservoir that way it has a little bit of water. If I don't water frequently enough, it's got a little bit in the bottom. I'm gonna do that for both of these containers, making sure that I take the plastic away and throw it away because I don't want plastic bits hanging out in the garden. A little trick I learned a few years back is that instead of drilling with the drill going forward or going towards the right, I reverse the drill. That way it doesn't tear a huge hole in whatever container I'm trying to put a hole in. It drills it straight through and I'm able to take the piece of plastic out the back and it's not really shards everywhere. So I reverse drill into this and it works out perfectly. I do after I drill my holes, sorry about my shadow, is I make sure that I collect my twigs and sticks and I place them in the bottom of my container. I don't have a lot at this time, so I'm going to put what I have. So my first layer are my twigs and sticks. Now, if you've seen this before, this is called hugel culture. And so I try to make a hugel culture in all of my big containers. So the next layer I'm going to put is paper. layer I'm going to place in the containers are my leaves that I saved last fall and brought with me from North Texas.
layer is going to be some compost, composted manure. I bought some bags from the store. They were inexpensive because I don't have enough and what I have is not ready. So I'm just going to put in a layer of composted manure. Have more bags so I'll get those and fill these up well not fill them but add a layer I'm going to place some sardines inside of the container as well as some reclaimed reconditioned fertilized soil and then these two pots will be ready to plant up so let me show you I'll get more soil and I'll top these off and I'll do the second container the exact same way. I was able to complete this project and I have now three containers that has been refreshed. These two containers are brand new. You saw me drill holes. I've had these containers for many years. I got them on sale years ago, kept them in the shed up in North Texas and never did anything with them. So I now have room to bring out everything that I've been hoarding. <laughs> and these are two of those. I did purchase some new 17 gallons because I needed to put my trees in them. This is an old 17 gallon. As you can see, it has gotten uh, bleached by the sun and it has sustained some damage from the move, but I have refreshed these three containers and they will be potted up with food that's going to climb up onto the cattle panel. So that is it for today. I have much more to do. I'm still fertilizing. As you can see here, I've been fertilizing all of my containers. These are just the largest ones, me creating new ones. You've already seen me in a previous video fertilize my containers, these buckets. I will put this video in, the, in uh, the somewhere up above so that you can see it. And that way you can see me fertilize these and how I do that. It's pretty much the same as these. So I just wanna say thank you for coming along on my journey of moving and starting anew. I hope you enjoy this series I guess and I hope you come back for the next video up until then I hope to see you either in the kitchen or the garden real soon bye for now